Hi, beautiful. Today we're watching some girls with curly hair completely transform their manes. And oh my God, from these thumbnails that I've seen, their curls are unbelievable and their hair is so textured and gorgeous. This is going to be so exciting and I can't wait to see the transformations about to happen. Hopefully they can pull it off. But you know what? I've seen a lot of videos in my hairdresser reacts career and most of them go very wrong. My hopes are high today for these girls. Let's see what happens. Let's do it. Does it look like I'm punching something? I can't see. No, because there's nothing too much in front of my face. You want to believe in the most random things? The most random things ever to happen in my life? Was my sister getting married? Literally, though. Like, whoop, just there about it. Like, Is you have a sister? Are you kidding me? And she's married. <laughs> you go up there. There's just like one day, like she started seeing someone the next day. She like called us up. She's like, "Hey, come to Florida with my new engagement ring." And we were like, "What?" Kidding. And next we have the beautiful, talented Miss Alaska <laughs> with her special talent today, hairdresser Ria. Reacting. Be reacting to hair. See him reacting. Yeah. Thank you. You can sit. Okay. <laughs> okay. The first video is called "24-Hour Hair Transformation Natural Hair." This is by Sierra Williams. All right, let's check this thing out. I'm about to bleach my hair. Whoa! I just did an Olaplex treatment, which I'm wow for a different video. Whoa. Her hair is so thick. Wow, it's pretty. I love the color that's going on right now, so I'm interested to in how what she's gonna do to make this look better. Maybe not better, but like different. I just love this dark root with the blue ends. It's magical. I'm bleaching half of my head at a time. I just wanna make sure I get everything because you know, I'm doing it myself and I don't wanna like be rushing one side because I'm worried about the other side being in too long. So she's gonna work from one side to the other side, which I think is a great idea because usually people try to rush it. They try to make everything process at the same time while trying to like go as fast as possible. And that's not very easy. So I'm glad she's gonna take her time with this. We're off to a great start. Please Emma, clap for me. Thank you. You're my studio audience. <laughs> so I'm actually mixing 20 and 30. She's doing 25 volume. Oh, right, 25, let's mix that. Okay, I'm probably gonna do eight scoops. So I'm gonna need 16 fluid ounces. So not only is she using 25 volume, which, oh, Chef's kiss, baby. It's just a beautiful developer number. It's just magical. It's perfect for a lot of things. And she's reading the directions. The directions. Okay, so we're going in on the back of her head first. And I like that. This is a great idea because you want to layer everything on top of that first layer. That way it doesn't turn into an absolute mess. Her hair is very, very dark. I don't know how light this is going to get. I feel like it's going to turn orange. Maybe the ends are going to turn gray because of that blue pigment. As her dark hair gets lighter, that blue is also going to tone her hair. And she is at least being thorough with her sections and getting that lightener on every single strand. And the best part of all, guys, she's putting so much lightener on those hair strands. And you know that I love when people drench their hair in bleach. Because that means they're using enough. So now she's coming with a plastic bag, which is also great to keep in that heat. It's been about um, 15 minutes. So I still have a while to go and the back is pretty light already. So I don't think I'm gonna wait the whole 40 minutes. Definitely not gonna be enough time. At least 45 would be good. As you can see, my hair is pink. <laughs> Ah. It was red before the blue, so that does make sense. I did not lift my red before I put the blue on top. <laughs> this turned out worse than I expected it to. You don't need to sit in here if you don't want to. I want you to sit in here. I need you here. I would die without you here. There it is. I know you would. I've been telling you. Oh my god, I would die. Yeah, you would. You would die without me. I really hope. That I can just slap the pink on top of here. I find it interesting that her ends turned pink. I don't know why that happened. Let me see. I don't want to do a piece with that freaking blue streak. I'm going to use this piece. Mm, she's doing a test strand. Test strands are your best friend. If you are curious if something's going to work, if you can lighten your hair more, or you can do whatever color you're thinking of doing, do a test strand in the back of your head. That way, if it burns off and breaks off at your scalp, you know it's not worth doing to your whole entire head, and you can just stop there. I went to Sally's to get toner. I got 
this one it had pink undertones in it on the little sample so she's putting that ct15 toner which i think is just like a beige color with like pink undertones to turn out the yellow i don't think this is gonna do anything i'm gonna be honest with you and you and you and you and you emma is not gonna do anything come on down eric oh my god hey y'all <laughs> it's me oh my god long time no see so awkward wow <laughs> we're just hard at work over here a lot we're of things hardly works. working no brad Brad. We are. No, give me the credit. A lot of credit. A lot of launch is coming up. I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm actually growing on my hair. Yeah, we're trying so to grow we'll up like here. Look so at that. Look at that shine. Cute. All right, I'm gonna All get right. back to work. Thanks, Eric. <laughs> Spell time. Yes, I'm using fruit punch from a door. You know I always use a door guy. We're doing fruit punch colored. Oh my gosh, it's time for the color freaking finally. I don't know if toning the roots was a necessary step. It may make the hair a little bit more even, but I don't know. She's going in with such a dark pink. I am feeling quite good about this because her ends are lighter, her roots are darker, and that's a good base to work on for the pink because when the pink washes out, the ends will naturally look a little bit lighter pink than the roots, unless the ends are really porous, which they probably are. So they might grab a lot, which would be unfortunate. I feel like this is gonna be an awesome outcome with a darker root and lighter ends, and that's exactly what I love. <gasps> I'm done. It worked exactly like I wanted it to. Yes. No worries. It came out really cute. What? Yeah, these came out really cute, even though I went through the most in this video. When I say way better, way better. Like I was expecting to end up bald head. Same. I didn't, still on top. Do not even try to tell me your hair dries like that naturally. I'm pretty sure there's no way, but whoa. Without Oplex, I probably would be bald head. I washed my hair eight times. This color is phenomenal. It looks so good on her. It actually ended up being like a darker root with lighter ends. And it gave her that variation in pink that I was looking for. The top is kind of like a very warm pink and the ends are cool. And I love the vibe. It looks very artistic and cool. Great job, 10 out of 10. Fantastic. Yes, yes. Let's move on to the next video. Next video is by April Mar Mary Flowers. I'm surprised it's not April. April May flowers. Yeah, I think that was the point. Oh, April May. Mary flowers. <laughs> <laughs> This video is called Bleaching My Hair Two Times, Toning and Dying it at 3 a.m. Mm, fun. Today, I'm um, using the Quick Blue. We're using some Quick Blue. I've actually never used this one. I've used like the Clairol BW2. Listen, I don't hate Quick Blue. With that, I had originally got a 40 volume developer. Yes, I know. So I took it back to the store because I already could envision y'all's comments, views, thoughts. And plus, my hair. Bitch, we need some lightning, but we also don't need damage, so. Third. That's totally fine. I will take that. Her hair, however, does look quite dry already. I mean, curly hair is known to be very dry already, but her hair also looks slightly more dry than natural hair would be. I hope it's okay. I don't bleach my hair all the time. I like to switch up my style. You have to switch up your look. Oh my god, I'm so scared. <laughs> It's still turning back. Yeah, no, she's doing it. Wow, that's crazy. Uh, I don't know how confident I'm feeling about this, honestly. Wow. Oh my goodness. I hope that the coconut oil isn't in the way of any lightning. That's like one thing that I was kind of concerned about because I've never tried it before. I don't think that does anything because what lightener does is just eat through the hair and anything on top of it. So if you put coconut oil in before you lighten your hair, it's not gonna make a difference, all right? Use like a bond builder if you're gonna try and make less damage happen as you lighten your hair. <laughs> So she just started brushing the lightener through her hair, which honestly, I don't mind. Otherwise, it's just not gonna get in every hair strand because she's not doing a thorough enough job. But she's also putting on her roots and ends at the same exact time. And you guys know what happens when we do that. It doesn't come out good. The roots end up lightening faster than the ends. We don't want that. Just for dramatic effect, I wanted you guys to know how intense that was and how scared I am. I hope I got that across through the television or the computer screen or the iPhone screen. I mean, at least she's taking small sections, you know? I mean, I don't think she's putting enough lightener on here. And that, you guys, is sad and unfortunate. Ah, just please make this come out good somehow. So she's bagging it, and I love when people bag it. We gotta keep that heat in, and we gotta keep that incubation happening. And I am setting the timer for 40 minutes. 40 minutes, that's perfect. Audience, 
Audience? Audience? Oh, oh, yes. I do have this color as well. This is um, Claro Professional Soy for Plex Liquid Color. Um, High Lift Ultra Cool Blonde Blue. So cool blonde blue. Oh my god. Okay, so high lifts are used on hair that has never been lightened before or colored. Using a high lift on top of your already bleached hair is A, gonna do nothing. Well, maybe a little bit of something, but nothing good. Uh, B, so much ammonia, and it's going to wreck your hair and completely demolish it. You use a toner, not a high lift. You can't just go in the store and just pick out a color that looks nice in the swatch. You have to know what it's used for. Either it's a high lift, demi, semi, whatever permanent color, but otherwise, please don't use a high lift to tone your hair, please. I'm gonna wash this out and I'll be right back with you. Oh no. This is exactly what I knew was going to be the problem. And it's because all the parts that's nicely yellow is because my natural color was there. All the other parts that have this darker brown are because they were colored. That's exactly why. And also the heat from your scalp contributed to that. And I'm going to re-bleach the ends just to see if we can lighten it up a bit more. That's a good idea. I'm not gonna keep it on as long this time. It looks like she had been using a very dark box dye on her ends. Just from the looks of it, after using 30 volume and quick blue for 40 minutes and it only lightening that much, that seems like it's going to be really, 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 really stubborn to get out. It may not even come out. I don't know how she's gonna pull this off. Look at the back though. Whoa. She better not touch those roots again or else they're gonna fall out of her head. Going on. I'm so excited to tone. Every single- What is this? This color that she just saw come out of my head. I've never had a toner or nothing to get rid of it. What is this, T18? So one part, this, and then two parts of the 20. <laughs> it's T18. Girl, your hair is not light enough for that. No. Girl, your ends are literally like a level seven and a half right now, and you're using a level 10 toner. This is going to do nothing to her ends, and maybe a little bit to her roots, and nothing good though. It's getting like really purple, and I don't want it to be like actually color my hair purple, because then I'm gonna be mad. But it is burning my scalp a little bit. Of course it is, because you just shampooed your hair and then toned it with 20 volume. Bad idea also. Mm. And these are all okay. So now she's doing it blue. That's why I'm a little bit more lenient on using these colors. She's doing blue, and her ends are orange. You know what that means, you guys. Say it with me. Her hair is gonna turn green. green. Uh, that's right, Emma. You know your color wheel. Yay! Sky blue. Sky blue also. A little way too light. Jade. I really like the jade. It's so pretty. Periwinkle. Oh no. Like I'm obsessed with the periwinkle and it matches my nails. And then the sweet mint, which I've done a green before and I love green on me. I think I'm gonna go with the periwinkle because it is the darkest of all colors at the root. And because it is more on the blue side rather than a green, I'm gonna go periwinkle to sky blue to, to jade. I mean, solid concept in theory, but this is not gonna happen on this hair. Periwinkle to sky blue and then jade. And jade is that lighter, beautiful blue. And then it goes into that, you see that? I have to still get it. It looks good while our hair is processing. I just don't know if this is going to stick. Finished, everything is coated. Why didn't she do the, her, her roots though? I decided to just bring y'all with me. I'm confused why she didn't color her roots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I really like it, y'all. I actually cannot wait until the color's gone and I can do blonde. What? It actually ended up coloring and ended up working. I don't know how that blue ended up so vibrant. I'm impressed, I'm surprised, I'm shocked, but I am not getting the creative vision behind not doing the, the top of her head and leaving that blonde. Honestly, if she just fixed that little section and made it darker, like the midsection of her hair, I think it would look actually phenomenal. I don't know what she did or what kind of she just pulled, but somehow this came out well. Wow, okay, April, I'm at a loss for words. Great job, you definitely just shook me up. I'm gonna give you an eight out of 10 because I just feel like you should color those root section for sure. Oh girl, those were actually really dope videos. I'm shocked at both of those that they came out quite decently well. I mean, the first one, I mean, whoa. Beautiful. Um, the second one, I'm like still just confused about, but awesome jobs and that was no easy task. And you guys kind of 
did a thing there and I'm really happy about it. Make sure you guys are subscribed if you're not already. I would love that. Turn the bell icon on and press the like button. I appreciate it. Make sure you guys text me at this number right down below. Yes, it is a real number. Yes, it really does go to my phone. Yes, I can really see all your messages. And yes, I will be texting a few of you back if you text me first. Make sure you guys check out my hair care line, Xmondo Hair at xmondohair.com. It is linked below. And also check us out on Instagram at xmondohair. Make sure you follow me on all the different social social medias. These are all my handles right here. There's a lot of them. Go for it. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Rebecca. Rebecca says, I have naturally light hair, but I'm feeling like doing something different. What do you think I should do? Well, Rebecca, I think you should do something darker. If you've been light for your whole life, do something darker, but not too dark because then your roots will come in really light and it'll look weird. I think you should just bring it down your roots color, like a level seven. Still have it light around your face, but bring it all down back here. We're transitioning into fall. Maybe just do something a little bit cooler. It'd be cute. If you do it, let me know. I would love to see a picture and good luck. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Oh, I can't reach the camera. <laughs> We're gonna have to change that outro. I can't do that anymore. <laughs>